Peerless bathroom faucets come in a variety of styles, but all are very simple to install on your own. While they can be used in many different situations, this video will demonstrate installing a two-handle widespread bathroom faucet on a vanity with an undermount sink. Our faucet requires three holes with the spread distance between 6 and 16 inches, so we will install ours at 8 inches. There are a few tools and supplies that you will need to assist you with installing the faucet. You will need an adjustable wrench, a tube of silicone, a 3 32nd inch Allen wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and water supply hookups for half inch IPS connections. Each model comes with different assembly parts, but for this model, you will find the faucet, valves, pop-up drain and pieces, lift rod, mounting bracket and nut, nut wrench and aerator removal tool. Be sure to read all of the printed instructions found in the box. Before you begin your installation, you will need to shut off all water supplies and remove the old faucet, which we have already done. Make sure you have a clean area free of debris. Now to begin, first attach your faucet. Slide the hot and cold end valves with gaskets through the mounting holes in the sink. Make sure that the long tubes are installed away from the spout and the handle with the hot water label is installed on the left. Secure the end valves with washers and threaded brackets. Hand tighten the brackets onto the shank then use a Phillips head screwdriver to lock the brackets into position by tightening the screws. Now place the spout through the center mounting hole in the sink. If the deck surface is rough or uneven, use silicone under the spout base. Secure the spout with the bracket and nut. Locate the quick connects and align the tabs with those on the spout and valves. Push the quick connects firmly upwards and snap them onto the tube connectors for the spout in each valve. Pull down lightly to ensure each connection has been made. Next, attach the water supplies. Make sure all fittings and end connections are free of debris. The faucet connections are half-inch IPS fittings. Secure the supply hose to the valves. and secure the metal nut on the faucet supply hoses to the supply valve connections and hand tighten. Then tighten one additional revolution with the wrench. Make sure you do not over tighten. Repeat for the other hose connection. Make sure that the hose with the hot label is connected to the hot supply valve and the other hose is connected to the cold supply valve. Now install the pop-up drain. Locate the stopper, brass nut and washer, black gasket and the tailpiece. Apply silicone to the underside of the flange. Insert the flange into the sink and wipe off any excess silicone. Below the sink, install the black gasket, washer and brass nut onto the flange but do not fully tighten the brass nut. Attach the tailpiece and hand tighten. From the tailpiece, remove the pivot nut and install the stopper as removable or non-removable. We're installing ours as removable. Install the horizontal rod and hand tighten the pivot nut. Attach the horizontal rod to the strap using the clip. Install the lift rod and tighten with the screw. Connect the assembly to the drain. Last, flush the water lines. Turn on the hot, and cold supplies and remove the aerator from the faucet.
return the faucet to the full open position and flush the lines for one minute. Check that there are no leaks at the connections. Then turn the water off and reinstall the aerator. Following all of these steps will ensure a proper and secure installation, allowing you to enjoy your peerless faucet for years to come.